Now let's just take a closer look at what's happening today in a timeline. The president-elect, the vice president-elect and their families starting the morning with services at St. John's Episcopal Church. After that, President Barack Obama and the First Lady will be hosting Mr. Trump and his wife Melania at the White House for a morning tea. Opening remarks for the ceremony set for 1130 this morning with President-elect Trump taking the oath of office at noon. And then after that is the congressional congressional lunch and then the inaugural parade down Pennsylvania Ave with the new president and vice president. They uh, that parade gets underway around 245. Across the country last night, protests ahead of today's transfer of power from Trump Tower in Manhattan right to Washington, D.C. Protesters, including filmmaker Michael Moore, gathering again today in Washington, vowing to disrupt today's ceremonies by interfering with security checkpoints. 30 organizations have applied for permits to protest the inauguration today. That's up from the usual six, according to Capitol Police. All right, now let's join Nicole Killian, who is live in Washington for us this morning. Nicole, you probably have the best seat of the house with oh yeah you do with the steps in the inaugural uh, I don't forget what they call it the platform behind you so what is the atmosphere in Washington this morning what kind of crowds and security do we see there yeah, well, it is right now. Uh, the crowds are the media. You're probably around me, you can't see it, but you've got different news outlets that are setting up, and we do have a pretty clear shot uh, to the stage uh, where. President-elect Donald Trump will be sworn in as the 45th president uh, of the United States. Uh, so we are expecting uh, upwards of 800,000 people uh, to witness uh, this event. Uh, as of right now, we have not yet seen people starting to file in, but certainly expect that throughout the morning. Of course, this section is ticketed, but uh, the mall, National Mall, is open to the public, so we expect crowds to gather there as well. Uh, in terms of security, though, extremely tight. We ourselves had to come through several levels of security. Uh, there are numerous checkpoints all across the city as well as a number of flight restrictions in place during uh, the ceremony. Interesting. So Nicole, here's a question that I had actually never really thought of before. After eight years, you know, the Obamas have lived in the White House. What exactly is Mr. Obama, President Obama, planning to do that he is no longer commander in chief after noontime today? Uh, yeah, well, it's always a very symbolic to watch this transfer of power. Um, you know, one political analyst told us it, it's moving and it is. So you will see after that swearing in an inaugural address uh, by um, President Trump, uh, you will see the outgoing president, President Obama and his wife, Michelle, uh, leave here uh, from the Capitol by helicopter. They will head to Andrews uh, Air Force Base and then they will take off on uh, the presidential aircraft probably for the last time heading out to California where they're expected to get some R&R. &R. Back to you. Sounds like a much needed vacation. All right, our Nicole Killian live for us in Washington this morning right on that platform where President-elect Donald Trump will be inaugurated later this morning. Nicole, thanks so much. We'll check in with you in about another half hour or so. And that brings us to today's question of the day now poll. Will you be watching the president-elect Donald Trump's inauguration? You can now vote on our Facebook page or through Twitter.